Rift Maker Azir is most likely dead. KIA. Deceased. Swimming with the fishies. Wearing the wooden suit. I was talking with a few people the other day and we came to the conclusion that taking a 45% win rate champion and building not one, not two, but three inefficient items on them, maybe four if you're into that, isn't the greatest idea. Riftmaker not only strips Azir of the mana offered by his usual mythics, so funneling you into presence of mind and mana flow band, but also makes him spend gold for a stat that is borderline nullified on him. And on everyone else to be fair. But now, guess what's on the preseason PvE? That's right, Rod of Ages, Rise Mings Rejoice! Wait, this is an Azir video. Although it was never a staple item on Azir, it may be enough to replace the Riftmaker as your off-meta situational bruiser build against melee champions. And if you think this is all an elaborate prank for you to bring these builds into ranked and lose a lot so that Azir's win rate goes even further down and where it buffs him again... Alright, you, you got me. But no, really, it works in the right situations and let me tell you why. First, it already is ahead of Riftmaker in terms of AP. It gives only 60 at first, but scales all the way to 100 after 10 minutes. Which, if you finish it at 13, it's not too bad. It also takes only 3 minutes to overtake Riftmaker's measly 70 AP. Then, it gives the same 300 HP that made Riftmaker so valuable for surviving burst and all-in duels, and it goes all the way up to 500 when fully stacked. And sure, it doesn't give ability haste, which is a shame. Except, it actually does. The mythic passive gives you 5 haste for every legendary item, which isn't much. But hey, it's better than nothing at least. And that 8 AP and 2% Omni Vamp from Riftmaker sure feels like nothing. Speaking of Omni Vamp, if you're missing the sustain, Rod of Ages has another passive that heals you for a small chunk of health every 20 seconds, scaling down with item haste. So the bottom line is, it gives pretty much everything that Riftmaker used to give, except it's even better. The true damage from Riftmaker wasn't even worth the comparison, because even if it is based on pre-mitigation damage, 9% bonus true damage takes a long time and lots of items to compensate for all the other benefits that Rod of Ages brings. And if you are playing for late game scaling, you might as well have built the Andres instead. After this, the 500 bonus health will help you get a good amount of AP from the Monic Embrace when you build it next. And then, if you decide to go for Cosmic Drive or Shadow Flame, that's a little bit more HP that you get, not only making you extremely beefy for a mid-range mage, but also giving you a little bonus AP with every item. And yeah, the burn is pretty important too. It's no Leandris, but it's still max HP percent damage. After these core items, the rest is all situational. If the enemy team is a bit more squishy than you expected, just get a Shadow Flame or Death Cap and melt them faster than they can melt you. They have too much healing? Morano goes perfectly with this build, especially because of the burn, and it's weirdly gold efficient. Need haste and long team fights? Cosmic Drive gives you more than enough by itself, and then if the enemy builds too much magic resist, Void is always good, even if it gives no extra HP or haste. But is this all actually viable? Does it really work? Well, let's be fair, the data we have so far is just anecdotal experiences from the PBE. Only time will tell if it's a really viable situational mythic, or if it's just another meme build for an already meme champion. There's a silver lining though. Let's suppose that we enter a tank meta next season, which, if the PBE is to be trusted, seems quite likely. All you really need to deal with tanks is Void Star. The rest of the build is up to you, and if the enemy team is mostly big, beefy tanks and bruisers, then Rod of Ages may be one of your best options. Think with me, the best damage and penetration of Ludens will be dissolved, so that's out of the equation. Crown and Everfrost seem good against anything without good mobility or poke, but they offer very little damage in return. Then, we only have Leandris and the Bruiser Mythics left. Now, if Set or Riven ever managed to get on top of you, which one would you be most comfortable with? Squishy, dinky Leandris or big, girthy Rod? of ages, that gives you over 3000 HP at 2 items, and more than enough damage to boot. Not to mention, if you ever choose to build Rylai's, those bruises will have a hard time catching up, and the 400 HP gets converted into 8 bonus AP for free because of the Monic Embrace. In short, the HP is there to help you survive the initial engage, and then you have enough damage to fight back, unlike Crown, which makes you survive, sure, but then you have less damage than a blue buff. So it works in the same way as Riftmaker, except with much more quality of life and synergy with Azir's kit. And before you tell me, oh, just get a frontline and enchant it to peel for you and build the Andres, when was the last time you had that happen? 
Now is the time I do a cool outro and throw you into another video, but I don't have anything that would flow naturally from this topic. So I guess if you like this video, go watch this one, so you know which of the two main DPS runes goes best with a weird build like this. Hope to see you there, and thank you for watching.